Hello everybody and welcome back to Maximus. Uh, today, I'm happy to welcome you to my recording session. I am recording a, a bit of gameplay for my new video that's coming out that is going to be a beginner guide to how boons work. So we're going to be going through a couple different situations and just playing the game because I get to play Hades, one of my favorite games, as a, as a productive activity. I have an excuse to play this and say that, hey, you no, know, this is a productive thing that I'm doing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and we're going to be playing with no heat today because I'm just doing recording again. Quickly sync my camera again because it's being weird. Okay. So here we go. Dionysus. Say, man, if I'm not mistaken, I think you got yourself a bottle of ambrosia there. I had no idea you could get that stuff there. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna start with drunken dash today, because I want to show off the dash abilities. There we go. Fix that for you. Perfect. So yeah. Oh, that's new. Cool. So today, my goal is to display what uh, the different abilities you can get are. Now I'm playing on my uh, further... Nice. I'm playing on my uh, slightly further along save than for my other recordings here. I'm just going to go for k because I'm not actually going to try and make this a, a boss run. So I'm just going to get some upgrades while I'm here. Um, here we go. So yeah. My idea with this is that I'm going to be practicing uh, different things in this game and making videos out of them and then practicing what I preach. Uh, in this sort of behind the scenes gameplay look so that if you want to see me using the principles that i teach in my videos uh you can go ahead and just click it and see it and you'll see the exact footage that i'm using in my video and where i am uh actually practicing what i recommend to people because this doesn't help very much if it's not actually actionable and i think this is the best way to do it so we see that my dash ability is uh, Dionysus's nice little poison buff that does a fair amount of damage. Pretty simple, but uh, simple is effective a lot of the time. There we go. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this wonderful Chaos Gate. Let's check on Master Chaos. Let's go check on Master Chaos. So I really like the Cosmic Egg Master as Chaos. a. Um, I've returned. Uh, gift to carry around. Nice. So, here's where, here's what Chaos offers. Is he always offers you a curse and a buff. And I really like his buffs because they always give you a really significant boost to uh, damage. Damage or your ability to collect uh, resources such as the increased Kron here. Uh, and uh, there's not many abilities you can get to actually just stack damage on your abilities. So uh, I find it very useful. I like it. It's sort of like Hermes where it just gives you a buff to your existing abilities and there's not very much that actually does that. So it's always a nice thing in my opinion to go ahead and snag it whenever possible. And uh, I'm, us I'm mostly just using the uh, basic abilities sort of the ones that were in the game uh, a few months ago. I like them just because uh, they're really solid in terms of what you get. Uh, and since we're doing a little bit of a farm here, you know, I got lots of money. Let's go see Kron. We'll see if we can get some good boons here. I'm at the docks. Hey, Kron, what do you have for me? We got another Dionysus? Yeah, let's talk to good old Dionysus. Oh, yeah. So... We are going to take Dionysus Aid. 
because I need to get a call to show people what I am talking about here. Wow, thank you, Charon. What was that? What was that? What did I just do? I think I just stole Charon's money and he sent me to a a boss. Is he gonna kick the crap out of me? Look, I can explain. It's just. Oh, this is amazing. I've never fought Kron before. This is very cool. Oh, oh, what is ow? Holy snap. Holy snap. He's got so much health. He's got so much health. Oh man, I was not expecting to actually be fighting Kron here. Ow. I'm going to die. He's he's kicking the crap out of me. Come on, Kron, we're friends, man. You're my favorite character in this. Oh, he's already killed me once. Come on, Kron, come on, buddy. Come on, we're friends. We're friends in this. Dang, that hurt. Okay. Kron, come on, buddy. Buddy! Friend! Friendo! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, Kron. Don't do this to me, man. I'm just trying to record a video, and you're coming out of nowhere and just killing me right away. Dang! Your abilities are ridiculous! But you can see here, this is me using Call, trying to use it to good effect here. Uh, and he still killed me. Okay, so that's the first time I've ever seen Kron. That is super cool. I really like that being added as a boss fight. I didn't know that you could rob him. So, he's tough. Let's not do that again. Uh, if we can help it here. So... Let's go ahead and we're just gonna start this again. Okay. So let's begin our escape. Okay, so this time we're gonna start. So this is just the regular dash of the Son of Hades here. And let's see what Athena has us for here. Uh, hopefully she gives us, uh, yeah. So I'm going to take Divine Flourish. So what I like about Athena is that she offers lots of defect, uh, deflect opportunities, which are typically very good. Okay, here we go. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, I'm trying to get a boon from Kron, which I've done once now. And I'm also trying to just get a room boon, which I haven't really seen very much of around here. Uh, there's Zeus. There's my room boon right there. Beauty. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of my first time having a script that I'm trying to collect footage for. And I'm playing right after the blood price came out, so a few things have changed up a little bit. But for the most part, it seems to be around the same. So here we go. We got big... Big Daddy Zeus. Um, and let's do... We're going to get Zeus's aid. Zeus's call is pretty sweet. Okay, here we go, here we go. La -dee -dee. There we go. Ow. Cheap hit. Cheap hit there. Okay, so what I need is I need another Chaos Gate is what I'm looking for here. And don't come back. Boom, there we go. Okay, let's keep on moving on, shall we? Sue? Damn pests. Cool. Uh, where's... there you are. 
So, yeah, I'm just trying, I'm just playing through this. I'm not playing with any huge amount of strategy right now. Really what I'm trying to do is I just want to get a nice selection of boons so I can show people uh, how everything works, what the basics are, um, and sort of show where everything, uh, just show the basics of boons. So, you know, collecting the basic boons, uh, Sort of an idea of who does what, you know, between the eight main gods, since uh, the eight of them sort of have the same structure when it comes to boons. And then you've got Chaos and Hermes, who each have their own special uh, interactions with you. So Hermes, of course, increases your uh, speed with everything. And uh, Chaos, not Chaos, Chaos here. Chaos. Uh, offers you damage increases and increases your resources. And... Yes, thank you. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab... Halting Affluence, just because I need it for the uh, scroll that I'm going for. And we're gonna actually go for Poseidon here, because I've already got one ability from... Uh, Athena, and I don't think I need another one. They don't really stack as well together. Ooh, that's a new one. Oh, so much new stuff. It's so cool. Okay, okay. Not really sure. This, this is my first time fighting a whole lot of these mini-bosses, so I'm not really sure what all of them do. There we go. Apparently... Not all that much. Yep, one less giant evil crystal. That's correct. Now, let's see here. Um, I want... Um, well, we're trying to show... You know what? Let's get Sunken Treasure. Because it's honestly one of the better just resources you can grab when you are in the game here. There we go. Beautiful. And then we're going to go here and get a key... Uh, yeah, so I've got a lot to explore in this new update because, like all fantastic studios, Supergiant just loves giving amazing content to their players. And really, this whole Blood Price update seems to be following that trend where there's so much new stuff added that, honestly, I wasn't expecting in the game. I thought it was nearly done uh, in the last couple months, especially with the Nighty Night update. But no, turns out they're still adding a whole ton of enemies and different uh, strategies. Oh, come on, you. There we go. There we go. Uh, which I, I really appreciate. Uh, it's really the reason why I still love um, Supergiant games. They've been coming out for almost 10 years now, I think. And they're still really good. Sorry, I just had to actually beat the crap out of these guys for a little bit there. Because I am getting my... Sh well, my butt kicked. I was going to say something a little bit more... Uh, rude there. But I decided, you know what? People don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear that. Oh man, this, this reduction to dash is rough. I think this is the last room where I have to suffer from Chaos's curse, though, which is nice. And I was correct. So, let's go ahead and upgrade Divine Flourish. Oh, and I haven't even used the Call yet. I gotta start using Call as well. Here we go, here we go. Boom. Thank you, Athena, for that sweet deflect. So, yeah. I've got Zeus, and I've got some Poseidon, and I've really kind of taken advantage of uh, the strengths of both gods, where I've got Athena, she's helping me out with a little bit of defensive boost. Uh, Zeus is giving me a boost with uh, his call, and then Poseidon, of course, is giving me a fantastic little upgrade with uh, my... Uh... He's given me some free resources, which is fantastic. Sisyphus, don't take this the wrong way, but come now, Prince said. Love Sisyphus, he's awesome. Besides, you're not your father. Uh in this case, we're gonna take 
Uh, we're gonna take Charon's Oval because I don't really need darkness right now. I'm pretty good on darkness. So, uh, really, we're just gonna kind of grind up some money here. You're not angry with me, are you, Charon mate? Charon mate. Should help keep me going. Okay, so let's do. Let's do piercing, piercing wave. Just, just for a little bit of range capability here, and we'll get some more Zeus as well. So it's really funny because I actually Charon's the first person I gave Nectar to. He's one of my favorite characters in this game, uh, and I really just like. I'm gonna take the base lightning strike here. You gotta love your shopkeepers. You gotta bribe your shopkeepers, and it's the best. I love Charon. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and fight through Mega right here. I think I'll be able to be. Oh, I didn't realize I had heat on. Whoops. So here's a sneak peek. Uh, I have the boss buff on uh, this time, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tough with uh, having all of the different uh, Fury Sisters coming in and trying to kick your butt. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Jeez. You are hard to track. Okay, here we go. A little bit of a smaller arena. So that's really her main ability, is she is going to do damage to you pretty much no matter what, because uh, she makes the arena smaller. So if you're using a ranged weapon against her, you're not going to get as much benefit, uh, because she just continually shrinks the arena, and it's much harder to get away from her. And you can see, I've already lost one of my death to five. So obviously I'm a little bit further in the game at this point uh, than I am on my sort of, I call it my beginner recording save, uh, where I don't think I've even unlocked a Symphony in that one yet, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, there we go, Zeus. So I just called on Zeus and he helped me finish her off there. Uh, so calls are very powerful, and obviously, so one of the main things I'm emphasizing uh, with this uh, guide I'm making is that there's five slots for your boons. Uh, obviously, one for your basic attack, one for your special attack, one for your dash attack, one for your cast, and then once you unlock it, you also get one for your... Um... Oh. This one. Cool. Uh, you also get a... Uh, I'm going to switch off the Chaos Egg here. I think I'm going to grab... You know what? I am going to go ahead and grab something I want to level up here. Let's get the... You know what? I'm a little bit low on damage abilities, so I think I'm actually going to take the Artemis artifact here. I really like Artemis. Okay. I'll just go on. Um, but then, of course, you can have unlimited numbers of boons in the buff slots. The buff slots are perfectly free. So I'm trying to show that uh, when you first start the game, it's very easy to get lost in the boon system. It's kind of hard to understand what's going on. So I'm just trying to give uh, new players... I want to give new players a fair shot at entering the community. And part of that is giving them short videos that are just a few minutes long. Uh, just a few minutes long that give them the introductions to the mechanics. And then later on, I'll be doing more sort of strategy guides as to, you know, uh, mid to late game build theory. Uh, so that you can continue making progress in your runs. And I thought it would be fun to actually also just record these sessions and see how that works. See if anybody's interested in watching them. Oh, Callisto, cool. Um, okay, so I am going to grab... Ooh. So, I really like Artemis, so I'm taking the crit sword, the special sword for Zagreus on this uh, run. And I think I'm going to actually grab 
the... You know what, for the purposes of this video, I'm trying to fill up my basic slot, so I'm gonna take True Shot. I'll make every strike count. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and get an upgrade. I don't really need the money at this point, because I'm getting money from other abilities. Uh, that the gemstones help me out with. Oh, is that what these guys are called now? Okay. I gotta remember that I've actually got a fair amount of range attacks. Wow, this is one of the smaller maps I've seen on Asphodel, actually. I wonder if that's something that they have changed and added. There we go. So yeah, this is just sort of uh, an excuse for me to play some more of one of my favorite games and try to deliver value to people while I'm doing it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to increase the damage on Lightning Strike because it's a pretty low level one. Uh, what do you have to offer? Some money? I don't need money. Uh, I am going to grab Kron's Oval. Whoops. That was a weird... I think my controller might have bugged out there a little bit because he just walked right off the edge. la di -de, la -da -da, de la da da Hello, enemies. Anybody want to kill me? Anybody gonna try and stop me from proceeding? There you are. There's the assholes. There's the guys that just can't get enough of me. There we go. So, where's the next ones? There you are. Man, I'm taking a lot of burning damage this time. Normally, I'm a little bit better at this, where I don't take quite so much damage doing it. I'll just take that. I'm gonna blame that on recording. I wanna blame that on the fact that I'm recording and talking as I'm playing, which is not the easiest thing to do uh, in a high-intensity roguelike, if I'm honest. Ooh. A witch's circle, that's a cool new one. Wow, there's a lot of... A lot of bad stuff here. Okay, so now, Zeus, give me a hand here, buddy. I need some help. You guys need to die, please. I'm actually, I'm dying quite a lot. I'm really having a hard time. I'm surprised. They up, I feel like they upped the damage on this. Um, do, do, do. I am going to go ahead and add the Hunter's Mark. So here is one of those buffs that I talked about in the video where when you um, when you stack abilities from certain gods, they augment, them, uh, augment the other abilities that you've gotten from them. So this one makes it so that you apply the Mark Curse to enemies. Ooh, nice. This will help. Uh, the Mark Curse to enemies to help your... Here we go, here's another perfect example. So I'm grabbing Storm Lightning, which is going to empower my basic attack, and I just grabbed the uh, Mark, which makes all my critical strikes do more damage, uh, which I get because I have the call and because my sword actually has a chance of doing critical strikes after I use my special. So overall, uh, this is going pretty good now. Wow, lots of witches. There we go. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Don't got much. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the Trove Trial. Again, I'm just trying to record a few uh, key things here as I go along. So we're gonna go see Kairon here, because Kairon's the man, even though he murdered me earlier. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, sure. Let's get all this. Ooh, ooh, we got some duo powers. So duo powers are actually something that I wasn't, I wasn't going to explain in this video, and I'm not going to. So this is a nice little sneak peek into the next video where I'm going to start talking about advanced boons. But for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, I am actually going to get lightning rod. Because that sounds awesome. Work. And then I'm going to get that, go. random upgrade, Zeus's aid, plus one level. I'm happy with that. And we're going to go spend it all in one ahead time. and level up, or max out my health before I go kill the Hydra here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I really like, ooh. 
Patrick, you look That's to be new. Smashing. That's new. What a cool new look for the Bone Hydra. Wow, I got lots of peeps this time. So I wonder if his abilities are different now. Like I said, I am just starting to make all of these videos in the new uh, update the Super Giant just put out. So there's going to be some new content that I'm seeing for the first time in these recordings. So, by making the time to watch me play, you might be getting a nice little sneak peek into future videos. Just a nice little bit of thank you from, uh, you know, my more loyal fans who see my how-tos and are like, Hey, I wonder what that actually looks like when you do it live. Uh, and the answer is that it looks like this. And it's difficult to do. Oof. Man, I'm getting my, my face beat in here. Learn, Lernaean Bone Hydra. I wonder if that's actually the unique type that they are now. I won't be surprised. That'd be very cool. We're just going to go ahead and use Greater Call here. So this is an example of Greater Calls, uh, which all of you more senior players are going to know about, where you just call the powers of God that you are strongest in to basically come in and wreck shop. Because... Uh, this game gets hard, and you definitely need their help. I wonder why I can't pick up my... There we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Normally, I don't find the Hydra to be a particularly challenging enemy, uh, but maybe they've changed that with the new updates, because he is definitely hurting me quite a lot. I don't think I've... Wow, there's my last burst of Death Defied right there. I, I don't think I've got any um, heat on for the Bone Hydra on the second time. Obviously, we saw the first boss I've got heat on that lets me see all three of the uh, the first boss there, the Furies. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Supergiant really likes... Wow, they're just a fantastic death. They constantly add stuff. They constantly change stuff. Oh, cool. Uh... And yeah, I just, I love the game, so I appreciate it. I'm actually going to hold on to the Adamant Arrowhead. I'm going to try and load it up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that. And now we're going to just pause here before we go into the next level. Because I want to get a shot where you can see all the different passive boons that I've got. So right here you can see, obviously, our five main slots. Right there. So... In this menu, uh, you see I've got Lightning Strike level 2 as my basic attack. I've got Divine Flourish as my special attack. I've got True Shot as my cast. I haven't filled out my dash ability yet. And then we've got Zeus's Aid as my call. And then I've also stacked a whole bunch of these passive buffs, uh, which you can carry an unlimited number of. I know it only shows, uh, what, 3, 6, 16 here, but I've had far more than 16. I'm pretty sure you can stack as many of them as you want. Uh, you can see that the hammers actually give a passive buff as well. And all of your items that you buy that uh, only last a certain amount of time are going to last, uh, show up here as well in your passive boot slot. So there's a lot of depth in this game, and you really only find it by playing through it and taking your time. Uh, which is honestly the strength of Supergiant games, where the longer you play, the more advanced uh, gameplay mechanics you unlock, and you get further and further into the game. I am definitely taking a second Daedalus Hammer. That is going to be another video, the value of the Daedalus Hammers, because you should absolutely always take them if you have the opportunity, in my opinion. They give you a much bigger power boost than the um, God Boons that you will find go ahead lightning this guy uh yeah they give you a much stronger power boost than the majority of the god boons that you're gonna find so for me i always prioritize them oh no oh, i didn't see the butterflies Whew. i am i am it's just dying uh let's go ahead and use Snap Nova. That sounds cool. 
cool. That's very good. Uh, we're gonna grab a centaur heart just because I'm very low on health. I should actually alter these because uh, I have that ability unlocked through my gemstones. Wow, I really like that snap. That's super nice mobility. Yeah, that, that makes you go around the level real quick. That's really nice. And you can see it's actually helping quite a lot against these guys. Because, again, you really need to be mobile in this game to have any kind of chance. And now I'm just going to go ahead and lightning bolt him to death. Because the calls are really good, and you got to actually use them if you want to make any kind of progress the further into these, this game that you get. Okay, sent of hearts. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Yeah, let's go see Hermes. Perfect. This is exactly what I need. Is I need to see some Hermes, because I want to be able to show some of the buffs that Hermes offers as well. Uh, and in order to do that, obviously I have to find him. There we go. Boom. Okay. Who else is here? So Elysium's a very hard map because everything does a lot more damage. There we go. And you can see Athena's still coming in and she's giving me a hand every now and then with a nice little timely deflect. Ah, the damn flame carts. I hate them. I don't know if there's a way to actually properly avoid their damage, but the only way that I've found is to actually go in and kill them with a ranged attack before they have the opportunity to kill you, which is not the easiest thing to do. So here we go, here is Hermes. Let's go ahead, and so this is uh, Hermes' typical uh, options for upgrades here. I'm not gonna grab Second Wind, uh, Second Wind is his call buff, uh, which he is uh, sort of unique in comparison to Chaos, because Chaos doesn't have a call buff. But I'm actually going to grab Greater Haste because I feel like I'm running around a little bit slower than I want. And a 30% buff is pretty significant. So, uh, I want to go a little bit further, so I'm going to go to Kron and see what he has to offer me here. Normally I would go to the Elite Room and just sort of suffer through... Uh, you know, trying to survive uh, whatever is waiting for me in there. In this case, I'm loaded up a little bit, uh, and I can go ahead and just do this. So, I am going to go ahead and grab Sunken Treasure. Uh, I'm going to grab Tidal Dash, actually. Most, again, this is for the purposes of the video. I just want to show filling out all of your ability slots. There we go. Uh, and in this case, we're going to go Hermes again, because uh, I think you only get offered Hermes three times every run. Just like you only get Daedalus Hammers twice, so you've got to try and grab them uh, when they come up. Okay, so that's a useful way of doing it, is just blast those guys with your call. Or, not your call, your, um... What is that? Cast. That's, that's what I meant to say. Get blasted. go. Oh, and they're still coming in. I might... I think I'm gonna die here. Oh, let's see if I can make it through this encounter. I would really like to. I want it. Nope. Nope. The butterfly's got me. The butterfly's got me. Okay. And I think that is going to be the end of this recording session. So, thank you very much for tuning in, you guys. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy the video and that you found it to be helpful. I'll see you next time. Make sure you, you like and subscribe. I'm already saying goodbye. Uh, please like, subscribe, and if you like the video, leave a comment. If there's any more information you want to see me present in one of my nice short little how-to guides, leave it in a comment and I'll do my best to address your questions in the next video. So long, good luck, and remember, there is no escape.